In the quiet expanse of outer space, our sun, a seemingly calm yellow dwarf star, is capable of unleashing immense energy storms. One such phenomenon that occurred over 160 years ago remains etched in scientific history, the Carrington event. This catastrophic solar storm unleashed an electromagnetic wave that caused societal disruptions in the relatively infant technological world of 1859. But what if a similar event happened today? The Carrington event, named after English astronomer Richard Carrington, occurred over two days from September 1st and 2nd in the year 1859. Carrington, while observing sunspots in his private observatory, witnessed an extremely bright flare erupting from the sun. This solar flare catapulted a cloud of charged particles toward the Earth. The impact caused one of the largest geomagnetic storms ever recorded. The effects of this storm were felt across the globe. The most visible was the widespread appearance of the auroras, or the northern and southern lights. Usually restricted to high latitudes, the auroras were seen as far as Hawaii, Cuba, and Sub-Saharan Africa. People in New York could read their newspapers by the aura's light, while those in California were tricked into thinking dawn had broken prematurely. Birdsong filled the early hours, bewildering the creatures and humans alike. Telegraph systems worldwide went haywire, delivering electric shocks to operators and even starting fires. One Australian gold miner named C.F. Herbert explained his experience of the powerful aurora in a letter to the Daily News. I was gold digging at Rokewood, about four miles from Rokewood Township. Myself and two mates looking out of the tent saw a great reflection in the southern heavens at about 7 o'clock p.m. And in about half an hour, a scene of almost unspeakable beauty presented itself. Lights of every imaginable color were issuing from the southern heavens, one color fading away only to give place to another, if possible, more beautiful than the last, the streams mounting to the zenith but always becoming a rich purple when reaching there. The rationalist and pantheist saw nature in her most exquisite robes, recognizing the divine immanence, immutable law, cause and effect. The superstitious and the fanatical had dire forebodings and thought it a foreshadowing of Armageddon and final dissolution. Solar storms, like the Carrington event, are a result of disturbances on the sun's surface. These disturbances, or sunspots, occasionally erupt into solar flares, throwing out vast amounts of electromagnetic radiation. When coupled with coronal mass ejections, they can cause severe geomagnetic storms upon reaching Earth. At the heart of every solar flare is the sun's magnetic field. The sun is primarily composed of hydrogen, which, under immense heat and pressure, undergoes nuclear fusion to become helium, this process releases not only energy, but also charged particles, creating what we know as plasma. This plasma, being in constant motion, generates powerful magnetic fields. Over time, these magnetic fields can become twisted and tangled. When they cross paths or interact, they occasionally rearrange or reconnect, releasing vast amounts of energy. This sudden release of energy causes the bright flash of light and radiation we recognize as a solar flare. While the sudden release of energy from the sun results in awe-inspiring auroras like the northern and southern lights, solar flares can have other, more disruptive consequences. The intense radiation from solar flares can interfere with satellite electronics, potentially disrupting communications and navigation systems. High-frequency radio signals can be disturbed, especially those traveling across the polar regions. On rare occasions, the geomagnetic storms caused by solar flares can induce electrical currents and power lines damaging transformers and other components of power grids. The Carrington event was a sight to behold and a minor inconvenience. The auroras, while beautiful, were an eerie occurrence for many living at lower latitudes. The telegraph disruptions, though startling and at times dangerous, were relatively easy to recover from, given the limited reach of technology at the time. In 1859, the telegraph system was the pinnacle of communication technology. Operators experienced electric shocks, equipment sparked and malfunctioned, and in a few almost mystical instances, machines worked even when disconnected from their power source. These were the first hints that technological progress came with new vulnerabilities. Today, our world is interconnected through a massive web of technology, from the power grids that light up our cities to the satellites that power our communications. Imagine if all these systems were to fail at once. The Carrington event, although dramatic, passed without catastrophic consequences in its era. However, 
It offers a cautionary tale for today's interconnected digital world. Modern scientists and researchers have extensively studied solar behavior since the event. With our satellites and advanced observatories, we've come to understand that such solar tempests are not one-offs. They can, and will, happen again. A Carrington-level event today could disrupt power for millions, interfere with satellite operations, and result in economic damages amounting to billions or even trillions of dollars. Recognizing these vulnerabilities, international efforts are being made to monitor space weather activity and develop strategies to deal with potential effects. We can't prevent solar flares, but with the right preparation, we can avoid being caught off guard. This includes hardening the infrastructure of power grids, creating protective technologies for satellites, and developing early warning systems to alert us to incoming solar storms. NASA's Solar Dynamics Observatory and the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration's Space Weather Prediction Center are constantly monitoring the sun for any unusual activity. The Carrington event serves as a stark reminder of the vulnerability of our tech-dependent world. As we continue to weave technology into the fabric of our everyday lives, it's essential that we become more aware of our sensitivity to celestial phenomena. The steps we take now will safeguard our future and help us navigate the stormy space weather that may lie ahead. Thanks for watching. What steps do you think we should take to better prepare for a future solar storm? Share your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss future videos.